It's not 9 a.m., but almost, or well, it's past 9. Uh, so I'm Marta Vludo. Nice to meet you. And uh, I want to thank you, Creative Mornings, to invite me. Uh, it's really nice. So I'm going to talk about action. <laughs> so I don't know if you know, everyone knows, but this is Action logo, uh, my version, pink one. And um, I'm going to present you like a gymnastic class. It's not with Jane Fonda, it's with me. But, uh, <laughs> so uh, 25 minutes of light exercise routine. I really hope that you enjoy. So let's start with the first exercise. Uh, it's the warm up. So I'm going to tell a, a bit about myself. Um, I'm Marta, as you know. I was born in 86 in Lisbon. And um, uh, since I was a kid, I practiced uh, gymnastics for a while. And then I changed to ballet. This is me. I was really having fun here. Um, and then I moved to um, volleyball and football at the same time in a, in a school team. And then I learned how to skate. And then I changed to modern dance, and then I, I now I'm playing again football, time to time. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a lot of action around here. So um, about this, I well, I spent 21 years in Lisbon, so I had uh, yeah all my learning or almost all of my learning there, uh, study wise. Um, I studied first sculpture, and then I decided to move to graphic design, yeah, because I discovered that sculpture, it was not my thing at all. Um, and then I spent my university times experimenting, um, DJing, performance, uh, exhibitions, uh, making fanzines, making a lot of, yeah, just trying out to, I think, to find my path. And then I moved to Barcelona to study graphic design, a master's degree. And, um, and then I got to, there to improve my color set because I, yeah, my work, I think uh, I rely a lot in color and uh, to find a bit my style. And um, after I finished my master, I went to work in a studio, a multidisciplinary studio. Uh, called No Domain. They were, yeah, they were like uh, magical visual storytellers. So we, we just uh, receive a story and we have to find a way how to tell it and uh, how, how would be the style of the story and that in illustration, in video and well, it was a really fun uh, time. But then I decided to come to Amsterdam. So I'm here for three years. And uh, I moved to study, to study, sorry, to work in a studio called Matt. It was a really small studio that worked mostly with branding, branding for big uh, brands like Nike, G-Star, Sandwich. Well, it was really fun and helped me to understand a bit uh, how everything works here. But uh, yeah, I arrived home and uh, I stay at night doing my own projects and. Uh, still working, uh, I had no weekends and uh, yeah, then I got a studio and I went there at night, like I was the night shift <laughs> there. So I decided, okay, maybe I need to stop for now and just going uh, by my own. Let's, let's start freelancing without thinking too much. I just, yeah, let's do it. So, so now, after I start freelancing, I, um, I start to make really nice uh, projects. This one would be the flip-flap. 
So it's a 30, uh, 306 degrees turn. Um, and it's with the Restart um, and Marta Voodoo. So I don't know if you know, Restart is a really small shop, a design shop. They work with uh, designers that make their own product and they have like a really uh, close process with the product that they, they do. It's not uh, massive and it's very, and they, they, it's very stylish what they, they choose. And, and a bit timeless as well. So they asked me to do uh, a product with them. Uh, so, so I start the, um, the process of, uh, okay, what I'm going to do. So we decide together that would be a cap. And um, yeah, and then from there, okay, but a cap, okay, that's really nice. But uh, what is the concept behind? Okay, so it was winter when she invited me and uh, the cap should be launched in uh, summer. So let's celebrate summer, why not? That's a good point, a good start. Um, so, so from there, I had to start, okay, let's celebrate summer. How I should do the cap? How should be the print? How should be the whole idea? Because I, don't, I didn't want to do only a, a a product I want to do experience around of it so and this is yeah this is where I say that in the process is where the action lives so it's thinking and uh, uh, experimenting and yeah so we I had the concept and then I can go back a bit because um, in Barcelona I had a project and I made uh, piñatas I don't know if you know what is piñatas is. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a Mexican um, object that uh, kids, they play in the anniversary. So they put uh, in a shape of a lion or a shape of a, I don't know what, uh, confettis, and they hang in a stick, and the kids, they are blinded, and they just hit with the stick until the, the piñata breaks and a lot of confetti, a lot of uh, jelly gums, a lot of presents, they fall. So I think, oh, okay, this is a really nice way of celebrating. So let's do, let's start with the, with the piñata. And when you smash, a lot of confetti fall in your head. So yeah, that's it, okay. I have the, the idea for the print of the cap when it's confetti in your head. So that was the starting point. Um, so I went to action and uh, I, <laughs> I bought a lot of uh, party prop proper, poppers. Uh, when you just turn them, they explode and there is a lot of confetti inside. And I laid down uh, a paper and I just saw what happened with uh, all the confetti from there. And from this, I, I realize, okay, I have the, the print that I want. And yeah, that's it. That's the cap with all the confetti on it. <laughs> yeah. So after I, after this, okay, I still had to think, okay, we are going to launch the cap. I need to do a window set and I had to do, um, uh, online, uh, yeah, it's moving. Um, I had to do for my web shop and for Restore, I had to do some image, like e-commerce image, to sell my cap there. So, yeah, that was the, I think, the 36 degree experience. I had to build piñatas, I made uh, like a, a party in the, in the window, like it's the swimming pool, I make some fake, uh, swimming pool chairs, uh, chairs no stairs, and uh, here's are the, the sticks that you hit with the piñata, and yeah, and you have the cap there. And for the launch, I made a real piñata, and I invited all my friends and everyone who would like to smash it and see what is inside. So it was really fun, and uh, yeah. Everyone was really happy with, with the presents that fall in the floor. <laughs> yeah. So, 
Let's go to the exercise number three. It's a uh, lift it up. Yeah. Um, it's about, uh, it, this is for Hippo Creative Hub. Um, I work sometimes with my boyfriend and uh, we, we collaborate when we do more video and motion because I do that as well. A bit more art direction for video and motion. And um, we were commissioned by Reebok to make uh, some intros uh, to celebrate a, a new, a new no, 25 years of a sneaker model. So they want to make that us to make um, four intros for four videos. So this is like the, yeah. So the idea, yeah, this is, uh, we are called Ricky Marta. It's not Ricky, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is him, and this is us in uh, in the set of Hibok. So, but I'm going to tell more about it. So, oh, this is nice. So, for that, we had to create. Uh, um, okay, uh, sorry. So. In thinking uh, in moving image is very different from printing, which I'm more used to. So we, for this project, we thought, okay, let's do, it's an intro, it has 10 seconds, it's really small. So we just need to make a, a action that, makes, that has a reaction. Well, it's very basic, the, the idea, but uh, that's what our thoughts in the beginning. Um, so, yeah, about the process, uh, it was very intensive. We spent like uh, three days uh, closed in a studio, 24 hours, and uh, we worked with uh, foam, we had to build some shapes, uh, we had to try out with paint, uh, we had to uh, fill helium balloons, we had to play with fire, we had to paint, uh, um, jumping, lying down, it was really physical. And uh, in a way, I think it's very, I think f f some works, for me, I feel really nice when my body w hurts in the end of the work, you know, because you, you really feel that you give a lot. And uh, yeah, that, that's a good feeling. So, so it is, uh, you can see now the, I'm going to show the videos. Uh, it's um, so it's four intros, four different sneakers model, and yeah, this is it. Exercise four, um, the marathon. Uh, yes, so this is the, the project that uh, I did with Sue Duxon, she's here. Um, the Bookstore Foundation asked us to make a, a identity or, well, some posters and flyers for a guns market. And, um, it's a market that had uh, different artists and di different disciplines. So we thought, okay, let's um, let's do it. Let's let's have fun and uh, let's try to make some icons for each uh, discipline, for each artist present in the market. Really raw and really uh, like. Um, hiking uh, uh, marks that you can see from far away and you know where you are and it says safe is not safe, yeah. So 
uh, that was your, our first and main idea. And, um, but we had a problem. We had a small budget. Uh, we didn't have so much time. Um, but we knew that we want to achieve a really nice printing uh, effect because it's going to be hanged in, in, the, in the neighborhood. So it had to, to it, was, it should be easy for people to see and to pay attention to. So we thought, okay, we don't have money, we don't have time, uh, so let's uh, hand paint. <laughs> so <laughs> let's, uh, let's do, um, yeah, sorry. So let's do it, we spend one day of work, the two together, and we made by hand 1,000 flyers and 20 posters. And in the end, it was really nice because uh, each of, of uh, each of one of one flyer of one poster, it had their own uh, personality and their own uh, um, characteristic because they are all different. So I think that's in a way sometimes when you don't think too make too much and you just take action, uh, it's really nice because then you can. Um, <coughs> You don't know, but you can have a lot of surprise of the outcome. And, and when you sometimes think too much, some problems just, you just add problems. Because, um, yeah, you just start to think and to think. And yeah, sometimes you don't need, you just do it. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit Nike thing, but yeah, well. <laughs> they are right, yeah. So here he is. Me and Sue working in the studio, the chaos. Yeah, uh, we lie down and we just spend all day having fun. Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> um, so that was the marathon, one day marathon. Yeah. Here's the final one. And you can see like, when it's handmade, you can get really beautiful details and you can have like same shapes, but they are different and uh, it gets yeah personal, each one of them. So uh, exercise five, it's the last one. No, no, sorry, not the last one, but almost. It's balance. Um, I think, well, balance, I, I choose the theme balance just not because of the process I'll do it, but because of the work itself. But I, can, I will explain how, how I arrived there. So uh, the Spell of the Rebels for Current Obsession. Current Obsession is a jewelry uh, magazine. Uh, they, they approach new jewelry students and new jewelry designers that uh, are upcoming and, and they make yeah, a really nice magazine out of it and a lot of events, etc. So they, they asked me to do an editorial for their um, uh, new edition. And um, I thought, well, OK, that's really nice. I really want to make it. Uh, and I had to create a concept uh, that was, um, I just received, sorry, I just received uh, six jewels at home. And I had to think, and all of them, they have like a, a magical um, uh, theme or uh, precious stones or it's very mystical, all of them. So I thought, okay, let's uh, put them, all of them in altar and uh, just let, let's make a spell. Each of one is an ingredient. We put in an altar. And with the six of them, let's make a spell. And that's why it's called the Spell of the Rebels. Um, after that, OK, let's start to work. And um, I just draw some sketches, how I imagine uh, really raw figures and more composition-wise, how it should work like. And I went to action. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I spend a lot of time there. Uh, it's really fun when you just uh, forget how, uh, the, how the daily uh, objects, uh, they can be so rich and so beautiful if you just forget the, the functionality of it and you just analyze the, the texture 
look this, this is for, it's a floor map. It's amazing, it's so beautiful how it is. And uh, you know, this is like a gardening uh, uh, mattress for your knees. And it has like these beautiful shapes and it's pink. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and this is, yeah, this is like uh, jelly gums and yeah, they have sugar on it and it makes a beautiful texture. And uh, so I, I just make a, made a composition out of it. Um, I made an altar for the, for the jewel, jewel. And yeah, and I just placed uh, nice elements and yeah, random elements that together they, they make a really nice uh, image. So this is another one. You can see like no burn your table, I don't know how you call it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really nice. Again, the sponge and the balloon. And then I just play with balance. Uh, that was really fun. Well, after a while, it's a bit hard. <laughs> um, so here it is more. This is like paint rolls. And then just cover with marble uh, plastic. And this is, I found in my studio, near my studio, and I just, yeah, see? This is the, the floor map, yeah. <laughs> and um, here, yeah. So, yeah, this is the only thing that I had to go in a specific store. It's like a phone store, it's amazing. You should go there. And, um, Again, the, the car sponge. I made some stairs out of it. Yeah. So that, that was my, my, my day spent in action. <laughs> so exercise six is the last one. Um, it's the stretch time. Now you can already go and finish. And um, this is about uh, making time to be bored and to procrastination uh, after all the action, after all emotions and physical work and everything. I think you still ha you need time for this because your mind just go off and uh, you will find inspiration and you will find uh, purpose in things that you never think about it because you are always so into the work. So, yeah, just give yourself a break and do nothing. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, have a nice day. <laughs>